ടു ഡിസ്ട്രോയ് ഓൾ അവർ എനിമീസ് വി ഹാവ് ടു ജസ്റ്റ് പ്രേ ഗോഡ് ഈസ് ഗുഡ് ആൾ ദ ടൈം സ്റ്റെഡ് ഫാസ്റ്റ് ഈസ് ലവ് ഹിസ് ലവ് എൻഡ് യുവേഴ്സ് ഫോർ എവർ നത്തിങ് എൽസ് ടു ഡു ദിസ് ഈസ് കോൾഡ് ദ മെത്തേഡ് ഓഫ് യഹോ ഷഫത്ത് second king chapter 20 verse 22 king ehoshaphat arranged a music group and that music group start singing god is good all the time all the time god is good his love endures forever all the three kingdoms joined together to attack his kingdom king ehoshaphat said by praise we will this words our enemies every day 10 minutes you have to lift up your hands and just say god is good all the time all the time god is good steadfast is his love his love endures forever this is second chronicle chapter 20 verse 22 praise the lord praise the lord hallelujah hallelujah so the king said you have to praise god then as they began to sing and praise so this is a weapon praising is a weapon against enemies so they as they began to sing and praise what is what they are singing what they are praising what is their praising the lord is good all the time all the time god is good so when they are praising and thanking god god sent a confusion against the enemies three kingdoms joined together and to god sent an ambush against Ammonites, Moabites, and Seir, Mount and Seir. Three regions or three kings joined together with their army and attacked Judah. But this Judean king trusted in God. First he had a fear what to do. Then suddenly he got one insight and wisdom from heaven. Praise God. That's all. Praise God. then they all started fighting each other run away from the place and killed each other and finished you need not take weapons against your enemies you need not send a curse upon your enemies you need not chase your enemies only lifting up your hands daily 10 minutes and to seeing the situations around you and enemies are around to you and you are surrounded by them but just lifting up the hands and saying god is good all the time god is good so verse 21 the element of praise or the power of praise is given what is the matter of praise when they are singing and praising god so every day 10 minutes if you have enemies around you lift up your hands and praise and thank god thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah this is our modern praise after the birth of jesus we pray and praise along with the angels thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah so when he had taken counsel with the people he appointed those who were to sing he appointed a choir those who sing to the lord and praise him in the holy splendor so with a rhythmic way in a most beautiful way they have to do praise and worship what they did so they went before the army saying give thanks to the lord for his steadfast love endures forever always praise god if you decide god will consider it as a covenant and it will be established for you it will be executed for you job chapter 22 verse 28 job 22 28 if you decide something for yourself for life long god will consider it as a covenant that you have made with god forever and god will establish it even though you are not completing the lifelong praise but you decided to do lifelong praise god will consider it as an agreement as a covenant between you and your god and god will establish it and god will give it to you job chapter 22 verse 28 lifting up our hands decide yourself every day include among the nine steps of your personal prayer blessing the lord that means god is good all the time all the time god is good that is a blessing prayer 
then thank you jesus praise you jesus hallelujah it is a praise so blessing prayer and it's a praise and also god's love endures forever you declare something that is called admiration and adoration his love endures forever hallelujah now all your enemies who are standing against you trying to grab your land putting a false case against you trying to hit on your head trying to destroy your children the wonderful miracle is going to happen the enemies are going to be scattered amen then second technology of the apply that is called the technology of elisha elishan method or elishan's technology strike with the lord with the blindness so all four technologies you have to use against your enemies the first one praise and thank god let them be dispersed if anybody remaining there without being destroyed or dispersed you have to strike them the balance amount of people enemies strike them lord with the blindness until they are filled with the holy spirit elisha in methodology that is second king chapter 6 verse 18 you have to apply my recommendation these four you have to apply second king chapter 6 verse 18 until they are filled with the holy spirit strike them lord with the blindness this is called the holy blindness to save their life not to go to hell but go to heaven so they have to be filled with the holy spirit until that let them remain in blindness that time of blindness will be a time of transformation and prayer then third technology lift up your hands right now third technology that you have to apply against your enemies if they are black magicians or sorcerers spells people who are using spell and curse there are people who are worshiping devil there are people and they are also doing black magic and witchcraft and some people are victims of it logosians hereafter should not be the victims of the black magic they have to apply acts chapter 13 was 11 acts 13 11 this is called the paulian sword sword of saint paul word of god is known as sword so this is called the paulian sword strike them lord with the blindness until they repent and give up their black magic strike them lord with the blindness this is called the paulian sword the fourth sword and weapon that i give you today all the logosians have to take up all these four weapons against your enemies and transform your enemies and save your enemies the after that i'll tell you also one prayer how to transform the after doing these four you have to do one prayer also so what is that petrine sword the last one is called the petrine sword sword of peter that is acts chapter 8 towards 23 there are people who are accepting bribery without money they will not do any favor though government has given lot of money or a salary huge salary they are getting but without getting something uh, bribery they will not do anything you have to strike them with the blindness let your silver gold perish along with you this is called the petrine sword so use these four swords against the people who are standing against you after that i tell you the prayer also you have to apply these are the four weapons you have to use after that all of you have to take this prayer book page number 26 or page 25 in this prayer book after doing these four weapons please pray after me bless my enemies bless my enemies and their families and their families oh lord oh lord more than you bless me more than you bless and me and my family and my family fill them with your holy spirit fill them with your holy spirit let them stand let them stand always always in favor of me in favor of from me. today onwards from today onwards then you have to do eternal father i offer you the body and blood the soul and divinity of your dearly beloved son our lord jesus christ in atonement for our sins and of the whole world then continue the ch- full chaplet for the sake of jesus sorrowful passion our father, father have our mercy on us and on the whole world and on my enemies so this prayer do not forget jesus said pray for your enemies strike your enemies with the blindness and also praise and thank god on account of your enemies so when you have some enemies 
their time of enmity is going to be finished they are going to be saved because they are they are coming against you to fight that means that is the end of their enmity for example one snake came out from the fire and bit saint paul when he was in malta after biting saint paul that snake lost poison element so that poison is itself gone and not only that one snake all the snake in malta island lost poison praise the lord praise the, the same lord. way some of the people are coming against you the whole enemy standing against you are going to be finished by that if they bite you that is the end of their enmity their teeth is gone Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Thank you Jesus. So this is the way you have to manage your enemies. I hope that it is very clear. How many of you have enemies lift up your hands? First technology, what is the technology is known as? The methodology of the method of King Jehoshaphat that is praise. What is the Elisha in sword strike them with the blindness. What is Paul in sword? against magicians and black magicians strike them with the blindness what is the trained sword against officers our politicians or people who are respecting your money and without that they are not doing anything or grabbing or disturbing or filing false cases against you and grabbing your land possessions and your chances what you have to do acts 8 23 per trained sword let your silver gold perish along with you until you repent so four weapons after that four weapons that you use fifth is a prayer from page 25 is it clear you are soul winners the logosians are the savers and winners of enemies and you will get a victory today over all your enemies and you are the people who are troubling your children they will run away from your city they will establish their home in another city people who are persistently persistently waiting there to destroy you they will fight each other and they will finish themselves but you have to pray for their soul all enemies be saved let them be in heaven bless them more than you are you are blessing me lord and how mercy on the lord and also one chaplet for them you will see within 9 days all your enemies are just closed transformed or transformed or destroyed praise the lord 